hi guys so here's another pyramid program with a different set of numbers but the shape looks the same it's a right angle triangle now we're going to attack it just like we did all the other uh, pyramids is there a space on the left hand side no there is no space over here so we can ignore it we can just start with printing the numbers so for an n value is equal to 5 we have got 5 rows so let's write the row numbers this is row 1 this is row 2 this is row 3 row 4 and row 5 so we obviously have um, the row numbers written down so we obviously have something that is going from 1 till the value of n so definitely start off the loop as starting from i is equal to 1 i less than equal to n and i plus plus now look at the values inside the uh, each row number i'll write the n value somewhere else or okay so the value of n is equal to 5 i'll write it over here now in each row how many number of values are there it is 1 and the values are 1 itself the second one row the number of values are 2 and both the values are 2 itself in the third row there are 3 values and all the 3 values are 3 in the fourth row there are 4 values and all the values are 4 in the fifth row there are 5 values and all the values are 5 do you notice a similarity the row number the number of values and what are the values that is there inside each row is very similar meaning they are all dependent on the i variable or row number being counted from 1 to n so we've written the first loop for i is equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus now the j loop will obviously start from 1 and go all the way till i because we need the slanting one in the first row it's supposed to go from 1 to 1 in the second row row number 2 it's 1 and 2 there is 2 count happening there in the third row it is 1 2 3 there is 3 counts happening there in the fourth row it's again 4 counts 1 2 3 4 therefore j should be less than or equal to i j plus plus this is same like the asterisk program of the same shape and the 1 1 2 1 2 3 the ones which started always from 1 and went up to the row number it's just the same because the shape looks the same now if it was 1 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 we ended up printing the value of j because we had to start from 1 and go all the way till the row number here in every row you are printing the row number itself meaning here the printf statement is going to take the value of i so it is percentage d leave a little space and put i so that every row you just keep on printing the row number itself as many how many times from 1 till the value of i that is 1 till the row number so once you're done with that go ahead and write your printf statement for slash n to go to the next row and that's it now we look this in the code so coming to the code of the pyramid with the i values we start off with i j and n because we now pretty much know the flow of it printf enter n now scanf percentage d ampersand n we start off with our i loop for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus for j is equal to 1 j is less than or equal to i j plus plus and we'll be printing the value of i so percentage d leave a space print the value of i and write the statement for printing the next line statement hmm. now we'll go about executing it 
enter n let's put 5 and it is printing the i values go for a bigger number and it is printing the values this is spacing issue because the numbers are much bigger when it is single digit and double digit thank you